Hey guys, it's Dan, the new Super Service. Got Ashley's truck here, got fuel pressure. I don't know if you can see that. That's at, that's pointing at 50 pounds. Can you give us a throttle? Here we go. Drops to about 48, 47. So the only thing we need there is Blue Spring Kit. That'll, that'll fix that. We'll bump it up to about 60, 62, and then it'll wind up being at a, you know, probably 58 at wide open throttle. Our injectors are shot. Uh, cylinder number two, cylinder number four, cylinder number eight. It's running pretty bad. I know it's vibrating a little bit, but here, let me get on it. It's number eight dropping. Transmission appears to be shifting fine, but it's got a vibration. Let's see if I can get it to speed up. I'll let you watch this and I'll tell you when I let off the throttle. You feel the dash shaking? Or you hear it? That's, and, it, and it completely disappears when I let off the throttle. That, I, I, I'm gonna, I'll make another video showing the drive shaft when we get underneath it, or maybe I'll stop here in a minute. And I'll, but I know there's something wrong with the drive shaft. I know there's something up with the drive shaft. Damn near guaranteed. But here we go, I just stopped. Cylinder number two. Look at one just getting this crap beat out of it. Number eight, number two, and you can see the history line of how number four has been just dropping off. So, number six appears to be okay. I mean, we can leave it in, but just sure as hell, you know, number six will be the next to go. I mean, uh, but we got two, four, and eight would be, I, I would definitely start there. And then I'll pause this video, I'll get stopped, and we'll climb under it, and I'll show uh, show the drive shaft. But fuel pressure's okay. And, uh, okay, here's acceleration here. If I could ever get it to focus. Hang on. Okay. I mean, the problem's going to be that, you know, we still are going to have the outside injectors if we do the whole even side. So, it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be perfect. Because uh, we got number one getting the crap beat out of it, number seven, number three. You know, I mean, when they got a bad injector next to it, the, the one before and after it is working trying to pick up you can kind of see it there let me give it a little throttle you can see but let me pause this uh, that pretty much shows injectors uh, fuel pressure is okay temperature I've been driving it for a minute 170 absolutely need a thermostat that's way too freaking cold it should be about 189 to 192 something like that appears to be charging okay Pickham looks okay so I'll crawl under it here in a second we're almost uh, we're about to stop I'll crawl under and show the drive shaft okay we just stopped and look at number one. Oh, it just came back but I mean we got number two bad and number eight bad and number one's right in the middle and it was well you can see by the history line I mean I would assume we do the even side and the number one is gonna be the next one to go Kind of see it right there every now and then it just misses and drops out so number six look okay number seven and uh actually three don't look bad there's one dropping yeah right. okay it's carry bearing look at it it's chewed to hell i knew something was wrong with the drive shaft yeah, it's chewed to all hell. So in order to do the carry bearing, you gotta take this U joint apart. Uh, we don't do it. We have Midwest wheel do it. So if we're gonna take this U joint, pop, pop the caps off. I mean, we should pop the. If if there's enough life on the on the drive shaft to wear out the carry bearing, we put Spicer U joints in all three of them. It, it's I think it's. I don't know. I think it's three hundred bucks or something like that. Two hundred fifty bucks. But then you have a complete drive shaft. All Spicer joints. That one's Spicer joint. It'll be a Spicer carry bearing, Spicer joint here, a Spicer joint there. And normally what they do is they'll retube this and they'll eliminate this little balancer right here. And then they'll balance the whole thing. I think it's, I think they're about 300. They might be less than that. I don't know. They vary so much. Uh, between 150 and $300, somewhere in that range. But I mean, hell yeah, absolutely. I, I'd give this drive shaft a refresh. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this here and, uh, yep. Have a good day, guys.